Y'all, just in time for football season, I'm gonna show you how to make the best, crispiest, smokiest air fried wings. That's right, we're gonna use the Ninja Wood Fire Grill for this one, it's right here. But y'all can use whatever smoker you got, but then you're gonna have to use your air fryer. So if you don't wanna mess with using your air fryer and your smoker, or reverse that, uh, then maybe uh, look into get one of these uh, Ninja Wood Fire Grills. Links down below plug all right y'all so basically i've pretty much done this cook already on the wood fire about a year ago i was still kind of getting used to the wood fire grill it was a little bit you know you know learning process you know so i decided to do a little redo just again we're coming into football season you need those wings for your game i'm going to do some crispy chicken wings on here we're going to air crisp them okay but we're going to throw in the smoke while we're air crisping before i think my timing was a little bit off by putting the wings in during the ignition process and letting them smoke but, or i didn't let the preheat go all the way or i don't quite remember how i did the video but um i'm going to kind of show you you know my little updated version on how to do this okay so basically we're going to get this thing uh heated up i'm going to go to 400 degrees i know i, I did 390 in my last one but i'm going to go to 400 degrees i want that fat to get rendered out of there pretty quickly in that skin all right and crisp up really good with you know the ingredients that we put in there the way i prep the wings got a gallon baggie out i have two dozen wings threw the wings into the bag all right so we're starting with the baggie putting about Almost a tablespoon or so of cornstarch in there. It's gonna help kind of dry out the skin a little bit. It's also going to help uh, crisp, you know, make the skin a little crispy too. And then I threw in my barbecue seasoning. Now on this one, I'm using the Honey Heat Rub from uh, Caribbean Q and I'll throw a link down below for uh, caribbeq.com. Just off some of this. You know, I like a sweet heat, especially on my wings. I put about two tablespoons or so in there. I want, you know, that seasoning all the way covered around our wings you know then we started shaking them up we make sure that all of those wings are covered up so really get in there and mix it up okay toss it around throw it you know pick it well, whatever just get it going okay make sure you're mixed up really well next thing i got my air crisp basket out for the wood fire grill so i poured out the wings pretty much set it up so the skin is all facing the top there's a little overlap here and there and we'll move them and groom them, you know halfway through but uh you know you want the skin exposed to that that uh convection heat coming down sprayed them down with some duck fat again that's going to also add to the crispiness right if you do not have duck fat spray you could use avocado spray uh avocado oil spray canola spray vegetable oil spray you know high heat sprays okay i don't even if you used olive oil spray i don't know that it would really make a huge difference but it's up to you guys we're over here on my little ninja wood fire station out here let's go ahead and uh, get this grill smoker on okay get the wood fire open Check it out, we got our grill plate in there. Go ahead and turn it to the air crisp setting. I'm gonna take that temp to 400. Timing, I want 20 minutes. 20 minutes to get us where we wanna be. Hit that wood fire flavor button, hit start. All right, we're gonna let it go through the ignition process. Let all that heavy duty smoke burn off. By the time it's ready to go, it'll go through the ignition process and then it'll go through the preheat on the, the air crisp setting, okay? Once that's all done, you'll see the clock start counting backwards and then we'll get our wings in. All right, come on back. All right, our machine is saying add food. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna add that food. Let's get our chicken wings ready to roll. Open that up. Smoky, smoky. Got our nice bin of chicken wings. Throw that right in there. Those are looking lovely. Can't wait to get those nice and crispy and in my face. All right, shut it down. Come back in 10 minutes, give them a flip, a shake, a little move, a little groove in there, okay? But Nothing left to do but wait. Come on back. All right, y'all. It's time to take a look at these wings. Woo. Look at those bad boys right there. Look at that. That is some beautiful color right there. Let's give them a little mix, and we'll uh, give them that extra 10 minutes. But the color on that is amazing. All right, y'all. We got them mixed up. We're going to give them the rest of that heat. Another 10 minutes. We'll temp them out. Usually like my wings about 185 to 190. They're forgiving meat, so you can overcook them. Okay, I know 165 is the benchmark everybody uses, but we want to get that good, that good crisp on there. And there's plenty of fat to keep those moist, okay? See you in another 10 minutes. All right, y'all, we're done. Give it the 20 minutes of air crisp. Let's take a look. Come on down here. Those are looking gorgeous. Let's take a temp. Let me use my little lightning read, my lightning instant read. That one's pushing 180. Yeah, that one's a little bit more. All right. We're done. You're done. All right, yeah, 190. We're looking good. Okay, guys, 
Let's uh, give one of these a try. These are looking too dang good. Let's give it a try. Got them stacked up and racked up over there. These are mega hot right now, but I couldn't wait any longer. So cheers, y'all. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. mm. I'm gonna have that towel ready. Mm. Y'all, those are too good. All right. Not as crispy as I'd hoped, but I don't think I could have kept cooking them much longer because that rub was starting to burn a little bit. Maybe on the next redo, I'll use a more simple rub of like salt, pepper, garlic, or whatever, and then just give it the full crisp, you know, heat power, right? Okay. To follow along with this, pretty simple to do. One of the things I like to do, which I didn't get a chance to, which would have helped in the crispy process, is let these uh, dry brine overnight in the refrigerator. That's where you take uh, your wings, salt them up a little bit, put them on a rack over a cookie tray, and let them sit in the fridge overnight. Let that moisture kind of get pulled out of the wings, out of that skin, and reabsorb some of that salt flavor in there. So that is something you could do. That is something easily you could do to help the crisp factor. But these wings are by no means perfect, but they're an awesome lunch, great snack for the game. I think the next set of the wings I'm gonna do on this bad boy for the game, little uh, hot wings with a little hot sauce, right? a little more spice, a little more heat. So you never know, that might be a video in the future. Listen, if you wanna get yourself one of these Ninja wood fire grills, hit that link below. It's an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything more to use it but it helps out your boy. If you guys want to get anything I use in the videos from knives, cutting boards, to merch, uh, the seasonings, whatever, links are all listed down below in the video description. If you want to become a show producer like all these awesome people scrolling in front of me right now, people that love them some uh, nice spicy but sweet wings, right? Just in time for game day. Hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. Other than that, guys, we're done. Listen, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.